Yeah. Yeah, I've never been. Um, I should go. Every year I'm like, I should go. Just like the mermaid parade. I'm always like, I'm going to go. Which, that's the same thing, right? Yeah, I think so. But just with like sea creatures. Yeah. 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 And more titties. I think there's way more titties. You think? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Yeah, no. I've never been to either. Is there any empirical data on that? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Just uh, my friend from Staten Island who told me there's a lot of titties. A lot of titties. It's a mermaid parade. Hell, I might, if I think, shit, I might go to the I might be more inclined to go to the pride parade now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't need that many titties. Mm -hmm. um, Alex English, hi. Hi, friend. Hi, how are you? I'm I'm groovy. You're groovy? I got my legs out, <laughs> sipping on the finest Niagara purified drinking water. I mean, Getting Niagara. Getting to me by you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the sponsorship. The plug, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but hi, thanks for doing the podcast, Alex. Duh. Yeah. You're a sweet Duh. man. You're a sweet man. <laughs> oh, this is a this is a drinking podcast. I think I told you that. Yes, you did. I think yeah. I told you that as you were drinking. So, so <laughs> get him, get him, get him while he's sauced. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you want to do this podcast about that thing that's in your hand? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, My relationship with liquor. Yeah. Have you have you been drinking forever? Long time. Uh, I started experimenting with alcohol. I think my first time. The first time I ever had a sip of anything alcoholic was my mom's wine was sitting like in her bedroom and I was watching TV in her bedroom. Mm. So she had this, I just saw a cup and like, I just downed it. Yeah. And I had to be like 10. And so I'm like destroyed. <laughs> like, and I just remember, I didn't really, I didn't know what drunk was. Yeah. So I kind of just like, it was like, I came down to like, my, I don't feel good. I was like, you were just feeling fine. What's mm -hmm. wrong? And so she goes upstairs and sees her cup is empty. Yeah. Her glass is empty. And she's like, I told you specifically not this. is." And so she couldn't even like punish me because she was like, this is your punishment. So I'm not yeah. even going to say nothing <laughs> to you because you're going through it right now. Yeah. But that was the first time. And then I remember what we were living. I had to be like. Damn, that wasn't too much longer after that. My mom had this like bottle. Do you remember Hypnotic? Does you yes. guys remember Hypnotic? It's so good. Yeah, I used to like my. This was this was around the time when my when Sprite Remix came out. <laughs> So I was getting at like just like a few years later, and I became a little bit mm. older to like know that you can like mix alcohol. Yeah, yeah. But I had to be maybe like eleven or twelve now at this point. Like two, three, three, two or three years have passed, and I was me and I would like invite my friends. Like if they would come over my house after school and like mm -hmm. let's drink, I gotta I gotta drink. It's my personal drink that I make. I know how to make it and Sprite Remix, big old bottle of Sprite Remix, and then put some hypnotic in. But what is Sprite Remix? Your guess is as good as mine. Is it just like <laughs> is it like Sprite with no sugar? It had oh no, it absolutely has sugar, and oh. I just don't remember what specifically it was. But yeah. I do remember being like this pairs really well. Lemon and lime. It's lime and lemon. Lime and lemon with yeah. hypnotique. Hypnotique. <laughs> Um, I used to drink yeah. that stuff all the time yeah. because I had it once and I was like, it's blue, whatever. And then yeah. I had, I was like, it tastes like candy. It does. It's so sweet. It's so yeah, good. So whatever you put yeah. with it, it's like a sugar rush. Really. Yeah. It's not even, not even getting drunk. Just I think fucking... I just had it once. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my, mom, my mom, I think she caught on to her bottles kind of like, she's like, I have an alcoholic on my hands right now and I don't know what to do about it. But I kind of like, I didn't really do much drinking like in high school or whatever. That just didn't really like appeal mm -hmm. to me. But by the time I got to college, yeah, I, it, it, once once I turned 21, once like pe it wasn't not even 21, like because when you're in college, like yeah. you're not 21 yet, but people are finding ways to give you alcohol. Yeah, and I was like, I used to be like, oh, I'm. The thing is, I drink and I smoke weed. Those are the only two things that I do. Mm -hmm. And th when I was in college, like my freshman and like sophomore year, I'd be like, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of what my body is gonna do, and I don't want to. Oh, I want to be in control. Mm -hmm. You know, very gay about it. You know what I mean. <laughs> I want to be in control. Okay? Yep, I want to be. Con <laughs> I want to be in control of my body. I don't. I'm gonna be a good person and not get drunk. And then like junior year hits, and I'm like passed out every weekend. <laughs> I was gonna say I was a uh, very straight freshman and sophomore year. It, I truly don't know like what. I don't know what came over me, but like. I just started, like, every time I would, I was the friend that had to be, like, escorted, not escorted out in a violent way, but, like, okay, who's going to pick up, who's going to drag <laughs> Alex out of the party because he don't know how to, he don't know his levels, you know what I mean? <laughs> he don't know his, and I mean, I was just drinking everything back then, like, whatever, mm -hmm. vodka, whiskey, whatever, rum, whatever you had, I was going to drink. So, yeah. college was, I'm, I, to, to this day, I don't know how I graduated because, <laughs> 
<laughs> most of my a majority of my time was spent drinking and like l- more drinking and less reading. Where, so, where 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 did you go? Central Michigan, which really there you go. Like yeah. it's the middle. <laughs> that's you, yeah. If you're gonna, that's a party school. I don't yeah. care what anybody says. They some somebody probably everybody would have to agree with me that has gone mm-hmm. to that school that it is a party school. You go there to get drunk and waste it and learn how yeah. much you can and cannot drink. Um, <laughs> yeah, t- truly, like ever since my twenty first birthday. Every every birthday, it was like tw- 21, 22, and maybe even 23. Mm-hmm. Every birthday, my friends at school, we were all like, okay, let's, we're celebrating Alex's birthday. And there's got to be an official person f- to be on duty because he has a habit of passing the hell out because he's celebrating his birthday. What'd you do on the 21st birthday? Drink. <laughs> you didn't go anywhere? Can't you just- even remember. I can't even tell you where we went because <laughs> I was just black out, black yeah. out, black out Alex. So what do you do when you're blackout? Um, so here's what I've learned about me. <laughs> it's but all I, secondhand. I haven't blacked out in a long time because I'm, of course, now Good I'm 33 and like I have <laughs> my body is much different now. <laughs> Still skinny, but the inside is all fucked up. Uh, uh, what, what, was, what did you ask? Oh, uh, uh, what do you like when you're blacked out? When I'm black, I from what people have told me. <laughs> <laughs> I I get very emotional and like mm. like oh my god I love you so much and thank you so much for being my friend and I <laughs> it's always been you it's always been about you it's always been like no I get very like whiny but like yeah. a- appreciative I get very appreciative I like pass out compliments I'm, <laughs> I'm c- telling everybody they're cute like I don't really have I've I've only had a few moments where like me being drunk wound up in like a not like a physical altercation but like oh he needs to go home like <laughs> i did i did have a night i go to this bar downtown it's called the hangar it's in the village mm-hmm. and a few and like i'm a i'm a regular down there because it's a pretty cool dive bar and like yeah. there's this guy who like like we i just always chat him up and every and everything when we're talking he's one of the bartenders and uh i remember one night i got close i i don't i must have been real stressed out or something like yeah. I, I was going hard and i was i was spending i was drinking a lot and i was kind of just sitting at the bar watching the game kind of just you know just kind of stirring and i think i also get very sleepy so like the blackout is like when, I, when i'm drinking i'm like nodding I'm like i'm doing i'm doing the nod nodding off and stuff like an old ass man i do become an old ass i will fall asleep anywhere if i'm drunk i have many sources that can confirm that for me he passes the hell out which makes him less of a problem because he's quiet he's yeah. sitting and i will sleep anywhere upright in a, in a chair in a party like could be yeah. going on around me and i'm passed out so i think i was starting to nod off a little bit and the bartender was being like con- he was concerned more so mm-hmm. so he was tapping me like hey i think you gotta go and i was getting like defensive with him like man what you mean I, i'm good i'm good like i'm not that drunk whatever like, and then security came over <laughs> and kind of rested it wasn't like an aggressive thing he was just like hey, hey i'm i'm like and i in that moment, I remember just some clarity in my mind being like, oh, you being that bitch right now. All right. All right. Because sometimes I'll be at that bar and see people acting up like yeah. that and going even further, even more mm-hmm. so. So I am I was very conscious. I just remember being like, oh, okay. All right. I'm done. Sorry, y'all. And so I remember like maybe it was like another week had passed. Because I, I was like, let me let me not shut my face over there for a second and yeah. let them to clear to clear it up. And I came back and he was so sweet. He was like, yeah, I've never seen you like that. You must have been having a rough time. <laughs> like bartenders, if you're a regular at a place, mm-hmm. like they start to, if you have conversations with them, they start to understand you. And like, if you become a disturbance when you're yeah. usually pretty much peaceful there, they're like, oh, you was having a day. It's okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I was bartending, we had a few times mm-hmm. where people would come in and I'd be like, this is out of the ordinary mm-hmm. for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, you, you know better than this. Yeah. You're, you're better than this, You're better Sam. than this. Yeah. yeah. Actually, actually, so it was, and, and now that I go back, I'm, you know, give yeah. me two and I'm done, yeah. Marco. <laughs> two It'll and I'm done. S- slowly build back up. Yeah, yeah, build like, trust. Real, yeah. Build, rebuild trust. Yeah. Oh, so sleep. You get sleepy? I'm a sleepy Where's drunk. the weirdest place you've ever fallen asleep? Oh, man. <laughs> On the subway. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it was my first year, like my first year or two in New York. Mm-hmm. And I was living, was I, it, I think I was either the Bronx or Harlem. I was living, living in either of those two because those were my first two places that I was living in when mm-hmm. I got here. And I used to go out and like hang out with friends, go to clubs, gay bars, gay clubs, and just kind of like, you know, just, just run the streets, you know, yeah, yeah. paint the town red. And um, I, yeah, I woke up on like the six train, the two train, something like that, just at, at like four in the morning with like, with like, like, 
things were missing. Like my wallet was missing. <laughs> oh, I was no. so that day I was like it was that night when I woke up and kind of regained some consciousness mm-hmm. and like got back to my house, to my apartment eventually and I was like, "All right, Alex. You're like 24, 25." <laughs> You're in New York. You don't really have, you don't have any family here. You're still making friends. You don't, anything could be happening to you right now. You need to make a change. (laughs) You cannot be drinking the way you have been when you had people around you that cared about you. You need to look out for yourself and you need to dial it back. So that was actually the end of my relationship with vodka. Because I know that, (laughs) that that was like a vodka night. And I noticed that vodka really does like screw me up. Far more than I think the reason why I fall asleep so much is now because I've become such a whiskey whiskey mm. head and whiskey does absolutely kind of like it it, it, it like grounds me yeah <laughs> like plants me in whatever situation I'm in so that I'm not getting rowdy I'm just kind of slumped over like <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're the inverse of what Jack Daniels usually does. exactly 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 <laughs> so yeah I yeah I did that that it was that night that particular night I can't pinpoint specifically when it was I think it was within that one or two year mark of me being mm-hmm. li- me living in New York City and I was like this city is too damn big and dangerous for you to be just out here like that okay that you is- are not in Mount Pleasant, Michigan anymore, Toto. <laughs> <laughs> That's very smart because yeah. I have had a few of those nights and mm. I was just like, well, you just put your money in your shoe and, uh, <laughs> you, and then no one will take it. Like somebody can't pull up the pant leg yeah. and roll it down. Yeah. What's that yeah. lump, that very lumpy ankle she's got? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just set an alarm for when the uh, uh, when the subway's coming yeah. and then yeah. you'll get off at your stop. Yeah. I was like just making reasons of why I was just like, mm. no, you can keep drinking. You just got to be smart about it. Yeah, I was I, like, oh, exactly. the smart thing is to stop drinking. <laughs> and I mean, it can be that for people, but I think for me, it's like just having control is the best if you don't is the best decision if you don't want to just quit. Mm-hmm. It, just self control. Just tell yourself, look, I know how much it takes for me to really get plastered, so mm-hmm. I don't want to ever get plastered and make a fool of myself or put myself in any harm. So two and I'm out. But I've also learned something very important about the there is an art to drinking. Uh-huh. There's, there's, there's a, it's a skill. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, what's the, the like? Oh, go to the bar and get whatever alcohol you want. Put it on ice or get it neat. That way, you're not like drinking five drinks mm-hmm. to get where you need to be. You can do two or three, <laughs> <laughs> depending on what kind of night you want to have. You know, that kind of gets you there a little smoother mm-hmm. and you're not like just pounding ginger ale and all, you know what I mean? It just, yeah. it just, it's a gradual thing because now you're just drinking seven drinks. Now you're just going like, that's, you're just going hard. You yeah. know what I mean? So moderation, everyone. Good for you. I'm telling people shit that they already know. <laughs> <laughs> not all of us. Not all, <laughs> not all of us. Not all of us. And I, and I slip up too sometimes, but I, I, I only get real fucked up when I'm like, oh, this is what I'm doing tonight and I'm in the situation and there's people around me that I know. Mm-hmm. Like if I'm going to a specific kind of party where we're like kind of staying overnight or like, you yeah. know, or if it's like after a show and I know I'm going straight back to my hotel on the road or something. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to have fun tonight. If the show was good, if the show was bad, I'm drinking too. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, celebra- it's celebratory and it's escape. Awesome. <laughs> this, uh, this last Friday, I went to a wedding in Staten Island. Ooh. And, got on uh, that ferry. Oh, and she got just like a big old 40 <laughs> of Budweiser and just okay we drinking na- 40 <laughs> taking it back to the 90s I mean when when in Staten Island uh mm-hmm. you gotta do it and I just went as hard as I was like this is my night off I'm, I'm not doing any comedy <laughs> know, I'm having right. so much fun and then all my friends were there that I hadn't seen in like forever we were dancing and having good uh, having a good time and then by the end of it I was like, they're going to an after party. Here we go. And mm-hmm. all my friends are in their 30s and they're like, we're going to bed. <laughs> and I'm like, nope, I'm going. I said I was going out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, the, the levels of adulthood amongst friends really yeah. shows up when it's time to drink. Because motherfuckers are like, I got kids, dog. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I ain't trying to be fucking around out here with you. You, yeah. need, to, you need to grow up, dog. But it's our night. <laughs> it's our night. Yeah. <laughs> we're only going to be this young for the rest of our lives. Yeah. <laughs> you drink on the road? Um. Yeah, that's so impressive. I, you know, I, you know, before a show, I'll have like one. Mm-hmm. I have one to get kind of get me loose. Yeah, I, I, you know what? Depending on the show, I will drink. I think for like if it's like a if it's like two shows in one mm-hmm. night, if they're like back to back, the late show <laughs> is when I go a little. I, 
Yeah, because the first the first show, I don't want to be too crazy for the second yeah. show. So the first show, I kind of like once I have something to sip on with my water, I keep I kind of balance it out. Mm-hmm. So I'm still keeping it cute. But the second show, I'm like, okay, let's get wild. You know, they you yeah know, they've they've been drinking too because it's like ten o'clock now. Like they so I'm gonna meet them where they at. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. smart. But I, I try not to get too flustered because I already like. My like the way I speak and my my pronunciation of words mm-hmm. already is like sometimes a struggle just based on the way I speak naturally without drinking. Mm. So me slurring is just gonna make the show wild for me. Yeah, and I just need everybody. I need clarity. I still yeah. need to be heard. So <laughs> I try to dial it back. Yeah, you know when I feel like oh. Do you go out yeah. after shows? I'll find like a local place, like a nice little place to chill and hang out. I, I'm usually more interested in like just eating dinner because I haven't eaten. Yeah. Usually the clubs ain't really giving you that. You know, it ain't the cellar. It you want a hummus plate? <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, that's not the quality because you know on the road yeah. the quality of the food declines mm-hmm. greatly. You know, you know what it's. Oh, giving. you want chicken wings? Yeah, and uh... <laughs> exactly. You know, it's not it's not good food. So it ain't, yeah. that's what I'm saying. The cellar at least has a spread that's yeah. like that's like you know. Oh yeah, edible. <laughs> yeah, and it's open super late. And it's open. And it's open late. Yeah, yeah. That's so nice. So when, on the road, I try to like you know, uh, uh, do the drinking afterwards. But yeah, you know, have you ever? This is a. I also don't want to startle the staff. Like he's been going hard. Yeah. <laughs> you know, people talk. Yeah. <laughs> I think as long as you don't kiss him, it's fine. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, but have you ever like gone out with audience members? Mm-hmm. You have? Yeah. I mean, oh my God. They have to be like, they have to be cool. And I'm and by cool I mean you you I'm not I'm not hanging out with hecklers. I'm mm. not hanging out with people who were chatty during the show because I'm mad at you. You were <laughs> trying to disrupt you weren't paying attention. Yeah. Usually it'll be like if I, I can scout, you know, scout it out. People my age. I try, I try to find like people that are my age. Usually those are the people that come to my show, like people my age, like yeah. cousin. And like, uh, or if they like know me already and they're like, Oh yeah, we came to see you. And I just ask, like, hey, what's the what's the place to go to after this? Like, you know, what's the cool spot? I'm always specific. I'm like, what is the cool place? Do not take me to some bullshit yeah. where 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 there's like deer heads, attack taxidermy heads hang on I don't want to do that I want to hear good music and I want to chill mm-hmm. and uh, that usually that usually works out that usually works out I mean I have also like have I hooked up with an audience member <gasps> I think, please say yes I think there was one occasion good where, for you yeah yeah, I was on the app and uh, and the guy was like, "What are you doing here?" Like, I see you live in New York, like, in the location. And I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm visiting. I'm in town. I'm a stand up. I do. I'm doing a show." Mm-hmm. He's like, "Oh, where at?" I'm like, "Oh, well, I'm forgetting the city. Like, yeah, doing you know, blah, 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 yeah. the Chuckle Hut. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Chuckle Hut in Timbuktu. Yeah, yeah." <laughs> and uh, he's like, "Oh yeah, I love going there. Could 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 I come?" And I'm like sure yeah <laughs> now he was sitting somewhere i couldn't believe he showed up he hung around after and i was like oh you from oh you the one from that he's like yep I'm like well where are we gonna go you're like well there's this gay bar over here it's like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh it was dc it was, i just remember it just came back to me it was in dc <laughs> um he was cute and yeah. he told me i was funny and i was like that's enough to get yeah <laughs> I'm in. That's enough to hook up with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Find me funny in the in the in the, uh, in, in the clubs. Hook me up with this really nice hotel room. Sometimes I'll go into a hotel room and I'm like, oh, I got a fucking here. <laughs> <laughs> like, what else am I doing in here? Just gonna go to sleep? Like, yeah. What? what is, uh-uh. That's a waste of a room. Use that bathtub. Use the use every inch of the fucking room. <laughs> Come on, dog. If they give you an extra sofa, it's just like, oh, I'm going to... Yeah, this is better than my apartment. <laughs> yeah. So you're like fucking on that. And I'm like, I'm going to eat chips. <laughs> I'm going to eat Wendy's I, late night. Wendy's <laughs> win, Eating Wendy's late night and sex are the same thing, if you ask me. <laughs> Spicy chicken nuggets, what's good? <laughs> what is the difference? Give me a Frosty. <laughs> oh, my God. I eat, I just like hate eat those. I'm just like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. It depended. The size depends on how well the show goes. If the exactly. show goes well, then exactly. it's... Um, depends on the size of the small, mirror you know i'm yeah. just trying to watch my figure i have a future don't you know yeah and then yeah, if it's yeah, a bad show i'm like Haha, i'll take three larges <laughs> everything hurts <laughs> oh god <laughs> that's so impressive like mm. that's amazing that that you can hook up with an audience member or even go out with audience whenever i'm at a show because i'm my whole set is just like drunken debauchery and then yeah. i have this podcast yeah. <laughs> and so people come up to me and they're like we're gonna go get blackout across the street mm-hmm. at this sports bar do you want to come and i'm like i can't my well, liver will kill me it's a party when you're on stage yeah so yeah they're like let's, let's let when you when you get on stage it's a big party yeah and then they, the audience is like well we got to keep this party going where's the after Where's yeah. because we just had a fucking blast and they can tell you this what is the name of this podcast yeah uh, good time, girl. <laughs> 
come on, it's on. That's that's on brand for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I get yeah. the guys who just hit on me and were like, "You were talking about sex, so I'm gonna hit on you." Yeah. And I'm just like, so that does. Oh yeah, I was wondering about that. I was talking to somebody about that. Uh, like the the different the difference that like you know women in comedy mm-hmm. have with the relationship with their audiences because like I've seen I've you know opened for certain comics that are like men and like mm-hmm. like women will be in a line walking behind them walking upstairs or out of the club following them and I don't see it would be absolutely startling to see a line of men following a woman <laughs> doing stand up <laughs> So like I've always been, be, this uh, felony like, about to, to happen. Call, I need to call somebody. Like yeah, I need to go help her. Yeah, you know. But uh, I've never. I, I mean yeah, because I've never really had like you know gay groups of gay men like oh we gotta I gotta get in his. It's always at least just one. You know what I yeah, mean? But, yeah. But with men in comedy, it's like oh the women are like. Yeah, he was so funny. He, oh, I mean, he could he could fuck all of us. Yeah. yeah. Well, laughing laughing is an aphrodisiac. I feel like. I think, yeah. I think we do it. We put a spell on people. Yes, yeah. we do. We do. Yeah. I, I'd say like one. And they're drunk too. Yeah, <laughs> that, that helps. Drink till I'm pretty. Drink yeah, till they, I'm pretty. They got drunk stories. Yeah. <laughs> I think it happens pretty much once a weekend. Mm-hmm. If I am headlining once a weekend, a guy will be like. So I know you said you got a boyfriend, but you want to... What's it got to do with me? Is that really... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm always like, I'm going to go hide in the green room and wait until you're gone. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes. I appreciate yeah. the compliment, but now I'm going to wash out my eyes yeah. <laughs> and my ears. <laughs> there are some guys, though, that I meet, and not even at shows, but like in bars and stuff, and like I'm like, damn, I've been getting real drunk, and you still not cute. <laughs> <laughs> And your personality hasn't changed. Yeah. Like nothing about this is making this. The, the liquor has not helped at all. Jameson has failed me. Has failed both of us actually. Because yeah. what you what you wanted out of this situation, alcohol it is not helping. Yeah, yeah. This is not helping this, the conversation. Your, mm. the, your your face and your the, the shape of your face ain't getting any better to me. I just it's just yeah, yeah it's bad. So when did you start smoking weed? Um, college. Yeah. yeah, I did every like college was basically like the, the gateway to my yeah, <laughs> yeah. to my abuse. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But I mean, honestly, like that helped smoking weed helped me drink less. Yeah, because like I was just looking for another way to like kind of get into. And then, I mean, starting comedy kind of really got me into smoke because I wasn't doing it in New York at all at first. Mm-hmm. I was just too scared. I was yeah. really like I was just like, I don't know what people are putting in this. I was a very paranoid person when mm-hmm. I got here. And now you give me anything in a blend. It's in my <laughs> mouth. OK, I'm inhaling. Um, but it's it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I like I like the alcohol and weed kind of combination. So I do like I'm an edible kid. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I do. I like I'll do those things and then like kind of you know subsided with like a like a little whiskey you know just yeah and now, and now i'm just like really feeling my oh go to the cellar <laughs> to go to the cellar and like have had like half of a joint you know on mm-hmm. the way there a little walk from the train then go into the cellar and get like my little my little whiskey on the on the, on the ice i go down to that cellar i'm feeling amazing <laughs> i'm feeling like oh yeah yeah check this out y'all about i'm about to fuck y'all up tonight like <laughs> feeling myself yeah and so that way i'm not like trashed but I'm mm-hmm. like I'm feeling cute, yeah. you know. I want my added my 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 vibe is it's a party, like yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, it's party time. Like, <laughs> come on, y'all, come on, come meet me where I am. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wish, yeah. I wish. I've never been on the stage on stage stoned mm-hmm. or with any weed, mm-hmm. um, but I've done it like once or twice. I've been, had like a drink, mm-hmm. and I was like, "You piece of shit! How dare you? You're an unprofessional." asshole <laughs> and I just like spiral in my head and then I'm on stage yeah. I was like are you laughing is this fun are yeah. we having a nice time yeah. and then it just turns into a full on panic and then I get I a bring, rash I bring so. water I bring water with me though like okay so instead of bringing I, I, I made a mistake I was in the fat black one night and I brought the drink up there with me and I could see everybody looking at me like oh he's just up here going he's having a hard <laughs> time because I was just trying to remember words and I was like oh I'm forgetting that everybody is watching me right yeah. now and I'm forgetting bits I'm, f- I'm fucking up the words that I wrote I yeah. wrote this joke and I still don't remember what the fuck. So ever since that, and I ha- and I had to watch that tape because I asked for it. I was like, "Can I see what was happening there?" And I was like, "You were drinking, Alex, and it's a problem. You cannot yeah. be doing that on stage." <laughs> so I, uh, so now if I'm drinking off stage, if I have like a drink with me on stage, I'll just bring, I'll leave the drink with the with, with you know at the mm-hmm. table with the comics, or I finish it and I bring my bottle of water with me. Yeah. So I have that in tow, you know, and I'm just like, yeah, every while they laugh, and I'm just like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> water break <laughs> it's so funny i always bring up a water with the intention of drinking it mm-hmm. but i don't have the confidence 
to be like, oh, you're laughing? Oh, Let me have a girl, sip of water. Girl, when that <laughs> laugh happens, go ahead and get you some water. Like That also that also gives you a chance to think. It's just like, oh, okay, <laughs> let me think about this next bit. Hold on, y'all can wait. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm up there just like, keep the hurricane yeah, going. Yeah. <laughs> ah, like, I, I just panic. I'm yeah. just up there panic. Yeah, the it tr- truly laughter is thinking time. It's yeah. Like, when they, when they, because my brain, you know what it is. The brain is always kind of like moving at yeah. 2,000 miles a minute. And they, you know, I'm like, all right, Alex, what's the next joke? Yeah, is that what you want to do? Okay, let's do that. Let's yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. But I, I don't, I don't bring drinks up stage on, uh, on stage with me anymore. I was just like, that can't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> don't ruin yourself in front of people. Don't become a spectacle. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck around and get heckled, and you cussing somebody out. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the worst. It's like that's probably the the worst part because when yeah. someone heckles me, sometimes I go in too hard, mm-hmm. and if I'm a little drunk, I'd be like, you're just a cut yeah like yeah. it's like oh you didn't need to <laughs> well my go-to is to tell people that like you know you know if you if you heckle a gay comedian you know you are technically gay bashing someone, yeah. so. <laughs> that's good and it, it breaks it up yeah yeah, yeah it breaks yeah. it up it's my go-to yeah yeah, yeah. but it only great. works it only works if it's a straight person because if it's a gay person it's just gay on gay crime yeah <laughs> <laughs> um are there uh have you ever embarrassed yourself? Or? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you think I've gone this long without making an ass of myself? <laughs> what if, what's the most embarrassing thing? So it's a co- it's a college story. Okay. So I uh it was my fifth year, super senior in the house. Good for uh, you. It was my last, it was my final. I like I was on my way out. It yeah. was the fall of 2011. Mm-hmm. And you know, there like there was a, there was like an like an icebreaker party, like a fall, like oh, it's we back in school year. So uh, uh, on CMU's campus, we just have all of our it, the only pl- the only two things in Mount Pleasant, Michigan, is mm-hmm. Central Michigan University and the Soaring Eagle Casino. The Soaring <laughs> e- yes, the Soaring Eagle, Cas- Eagle Casino sits on sits uh, um, atop a uh, 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 Indian reservation. That's oh where. Oh my that's where god, I've done a show. Yes. At the Soaring Eagle. Yes. yes. It was a yes. nightmare. Of course it was. <laughs> it was horrible. Of course it was. I'm oh pretty my sh- I wonder God. if I'm, I wonder if I'm banned there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I'm going to tell you why I feel that way. <laughs> so, uh, you know, every every fall there was like this icebreaker party that 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 people like certain people who sometimes I think don't didn't even go to that school mm-hmm. would throw and they would have it in like a ballroom mm-hmm. of the uh, of the of the casino. So, there, of course, you know, like at, at before any party, there's the pre, there's the pregame. Mm-hmm. So my friend Sean uh, has it at his apartment. So everybody's there, and like we, we were deciding, oh yeah, let's all dress up. Let's 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 look, let's look like money. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Whatever we thought that was in college, you know. So, yeah. So I got on a really nice white shirt and a red bow tie <laughs> and uh, <laughs> black slacks. I'm looking fly as fuck. Okay, I'm. You can't tell me nothing. <laughs> like a ventriloquist dummy absolutely (laughs) (laughs) i became i basically became one uh uh so now here's the thing i at the pregame i wasn't really drinking that much i i Mm -hmm. I was going away until i got to the casino to really Mm -hmm. turn up right yeah so uh, i remember I, i can't remember which friend of mine did this but a friend of mine ended up spilling like a whole cup of their drink on me and it was vodka and it was a very strong drink so you could it was soaked on like you know my my uh on my sleeve the sleeve mm-hmm. of my shirt so we dry it off it gets dried off whatever use a hair dryer and we all get make our way to the party so the line is like out like just fucking like you can't get in for nothing like it, it, it's crazy like the room was filled at capacity but of course I'm I'm Alex. I'm getting in this party. I'm Alex, and they, and people know me. The people know me, know me at that school. I just walked up in. I got yep, yep. Good <laughs> looking at the line. Like good luck getting in. <laughs> Y'all have a good life. Yeah, enjoy yourself. Maybe next time. Maybe you can get in next time. So I get in. The party is slapping. Like the party is bad. Just filled with people, wall yeah. to wall. Just like you can't even really move. It's that packed. So it was so packed that the security guards, these big. Early ass motherfuckers, six through you. I I could never take these guys. No one. It, they huge. Just yeah. think of the biggest men you could ever imagine. These okay. Are huge men. Two huge <laughs> black men. I'm trying to get. 
I learned that they weren't letting anybody in the party. Mm -hmm. They also weren't letting anyone out of the party for some strange reason. And I only learned that because I had to pee. So I was trying to leave and they were like, nah, nah, nah. Because I guess the insinuation was that if if someone exits, then they'd be like, oh, well, somebody just left. Now I can get in. Uh, But I'm like, you have to let people out. You can't just trap people in a party. So I have to pee really bad and they're not letting me out. They are refusing to let me out. So I'm like, you know the you know the Mr. Krabs meme that like kind of blurry thing. I was like, <laughs> the more I had to pee, I'm like, oh, I am going to pee on myself in the yeah. middle of this fucking party. Yeah. So, huh? Oh. Oh, hi, Andy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, cut, cut around it. Yeah, yeah. Cut around it. <laughs> so, so I'm like. I'm like, I'm going to explode. Yeah. Ur- straight urine in the middle of this party. <laughs> and I had, and I also had been like p- drinking a little bit, you know, t- that yeah. got me there. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I'm going to have to go. So I'm, I'm terrified. I look like to my left and I see this door. So I'm like, oh, maybe that leads to something. I was praying to God that it wasn't a closet. So <laughs> I walked in. I opened the door. I kind of get through, make my way through the crowd. I get to the, I open the door and it is sort of like a closet like space. Mm-hmm. But there's another door that leads to like this kind of like kitchen area, like kind of kind of leads out to the front. They, did, they didn't have bathrooms? They did. I was trying to go to the actual <laughs> bathroom. But Caitlin, when I tell you, I, there was just no time. Yeah. I had to go. So okay. I found a water bottle in that area, <laughs> like the closet area. And I and y'all know y'all know what the deal is. No matter how big the container <laughs> is, Gatorade, you you're always gonna pee more. Yeah. It's gonna it's gonna fill it up yeah. pretty much. So I'm I am peeing in this water bottle in the closet. A whole party is a whole <laughs> inch away from me. So I'm peeing in this water bottle and suddenly, just out of nowhere, I feel a hand on my shoulder. Oh no. And it is a police officer. <gasps> so, cause he, he, I guess I was seeing somebody pass by through the other door that led, that led to that, like that, that hallway area, mm-hmm. saw me peeing in there <gasps> and they got one of the officers that were on site at the, at, and they, yeah. And so he had his hand on my shoulder and all I could, I mean, I was freaking out, but all I could say to him, Caitlin was like, I mean, can you let me finish? Cause like, <laughs> Like what you gonna you am I arrested and I'm still peeing? Like yeah, I get, yeah. I kinda understood the gravity of the situation. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I should be allowed to finish. Yeah. <laughs> so I did. Um <laughs> and then I'm being escorted out of, of the course, party yes. by by a police officer. And in order for me to have gotten to the car, the officer had to escort me out past the line of people that I was so <laughs> that I was so callous and just like, oh yeah, yeah. Showing in a bow, I got arrested in a bow tie, in a red bow tie, <laughs> thinking that I was the man that night. The hot, the just the hot shit. Just I was so fucking embarrassing. Everybody saw. It. Everybody, everybody was like, I heard people being like, "That's Alex." I'm like, "Oh my god, I cannot believe I'm getting arrested." So and the one and so <laughs> call back to to the to the pregame. I was telling. The officer totally should have been shutting the fuck up because when you're arrested, just be silent. Yeah. I was like, what I said to the officer, I promise I'm not drunk. Reeking uh. of vodka. <laughs> Reeking of vodka. Couldn't yeah. do anything about that. So I get arrested and I go into the holding cell and I had to spend a night overnight. Uh. So my friends, my friends were, they, they really... This is how I know that everybody was like, this is a clown and he's going to be a clown. He's going to yeah. be a comedian. Because I this is like Twitter, like in the beginning, mm-hmm. like uh, kind of like in its beginning stages. So like all of my friends, <laughs> I, when I when I eventually got out, all of my friends made this uh, hashtag on Twitter that was free Alex. <laughs> <laughs> my friends were cool, though. Like they, Everybody like kind of band together to bail me out. Everybody oh. was like, I owed everybody like $30 a piece and shit. <laughs> <laughs> One of my friends sold video games and stuff. He's like, we gotta get Alex out. I mean, I, it, I mean, I had never had a, an encounter with mm-hmm. the law before, so I was freaking the fuck out. Yeah. I, I was being so dramatic. I was like, oh, I know, like this is the end. I'm not gonna graduate. This is the end of my life. Yeah, I'm a failure. I have disappointed <laughs> everybody that ever has known me or has loved me. And the and the holding still was just disgusting it oh was, it was just like me and like nine other men just just sit, i'm just on the floor I'm, they're trying to give me food i was like what makes you think i want to eat this food <laughs> what makes you think I, I had to take a mug shot i vaguely remember kind of what the mug shot looked like but i couldn't even like look into the camera i was just i just remember being like this is sad this is a sad day 
this is a sad day for me. And I was kind of drunk, but not like wasted. But yeah. I, but it just alcohol really was like what the through line of like, yeah, your yeah. my name was in the the, the local, like the day no. like the morning paper. Cause Mount Pleasant, they whoever got arrested the night before, the next day they just let your name was in the <gasps> listing. <laughs> That's so shitty. It's terrible. That's gotta yeah. be against the law of some sort. They the well, not in Mount Pleasant. I don't no. know what I don't know what kind of situation <laughs> they got, but my name was in the paper. They oh. were like, This is who was who, this is who got locked up. I remember when uh when I was in the cell with those with those gentlemen, there were people in there that like like knew each other from being in there before. <laughs> like they were they were like friends, like cell buddies that like always get locked up. And yeah. I was like, this is crazy. I yeah. don't want to talk to none of y'all right now. Stop mm-hmm. trying to. And I don't want conversation. I, don't, I just want to yeah. get the fuck out of here. Um, and then my court date, I had to go to court and like, and the judge, you know, she was, I just remember her like being stern, but like also hearing me out. I basically told her the story. I was like, I tried my, I wanted to be very clear. I tried my hardest to get out and and pee properly. I was really trying to do this the right way. And so she was doing all of the, like all of the judge stuff. Like she was like, you, you know, I'm. I could, I could, I could make you a sex offender right now. That's basically Ooh. what she said. Oh my god! I was like, man, I was crying. I was like, yeah. I, literally, whatever I could do. And she was like, no, nope, but you are. This is on your record. It it gets expunged in seven years. Um, but yeah, and then you just like, you know, you pro like it's like a, like a probation thing, like whatever. And so, okay. So it was fine. We oh. I, I I lived to tell the story. Jesus. And it, and and the, and for the record, it is expunged. I am no longer a. Uh, <laughs> No longer, no longer is it on you my record. You can go to Canada now. Can get- <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that I mean, that story is like that that li- that will live with me forever, just because it's one the only time, the only time, the yeah, only time I've been wood. arrested, yeah, and just like just f- sh- truly spooked out by yeah. the idea. Because when she said that to me, she was like, you know, you could be on the sex offender oh list. Oh my for this. god! I was like, oh my god! For peeing in a closet. For peeing in a closet. No, but all no the- children around. No children around. Just yeah, and the fact that it like there was some gravity to it it was like you just this this is an indian reservation that you're like defiling <gasps> with your black urine <laughs> <laughs> the audacity the audacity of you sir like yeah, we, yeah. as if this country didn't defile the indians <laughs> in the first place jesus christ yeah, it's me and christopher columbus yeah. <laughs> <laughs> same level same, same, same level. thing it's the exact same thing <laughs> So yeah, oh, that was God. that was traumatizing, but yes. it, it set me straight. I yeah. was like, never again. I, I will, I will I, listen. I, I'll, I'll tell them. Look, I'm not trying to go to jail. Let me out. Yeah. Party. It also was just like stop partying so much. This is why you in your fifth year of college. <laughs> Stop all the fucking partying and just read the books. Get Stick to the books, guys, so you can get up out of here. Yeah. <laughs> and you did. And I did. Look at you now. And I did. Yeah. We oh, out here. We out here. Beautiful. Yeah. Ugh. I haven't been back to see him you since. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> I walked off that stage and left and like never looked back. Yeah. <laughs> you wave. The the Indian can see though. Yeah. It's just bye. Let me get out while I'm here. Yeah. When I left, the uh, Indian man, like the, a tear, a single tear came from his eye. <laughs> The man with the black urine. (laughs) Black urine sounds so disgusting. Like, what were you drinking? (laughs) What the fuck were you drinking that your urine is black, dog? You were eating charcoal? (laughs) That's very funny. (laughs) Oh, my God. Well, Alex, this is perfect. Is that the name of the 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 episode? Black urine? Black (laughs) urine. Yeah, yeah. It's a a spinoff of Black Mirror. Black Mirror. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, Hell yeah. Where can people find you? I mean, alexenglish.co. I couldn't afford the end. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> alexenglish.co is where I post my where I have my dates perfect my available dates wonderful um, I will if if there are listeners in the Niagara Falls area Ooh. I will be opening for Colin Jost <gasps> on the 28th no the 27th the 28th and the 29th perfect so you should you should check Colin Jost's website for those dates mm-hmm. because those those where you can find those tickets and yes. um, two nights at like a casino and another night in like a theater so colinjost.com is where you can find those and (laughs) alexenglish.co is where you can find my available dates and then if you go on Instagram I'm always posting those to New York City and you can just find me at the Comedy Cellar with my friend Caitlin Palupo we have a nice time we have a nice time time. as we said it's a party it's a party it's a party at the the Comedy Cellar yes it is Yeah. so make make sure you check them out very funny very very funny and thank you for doing this thank you for having me I love you so much I love you too 
<laughs> I'm glad you're not a sex offender. I am. You and me both, sister. 